Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. In my last videos, I have been explaining how to do sign up using Google's uh, Firebase provided features like Google sign in, email and password sign in, and finally, in my last videos, I had explained how to achieve phone number verification in Flutter with the help of Firebase SDKs. In those videos, I had missed one thing or I had uh, I didn't cover one more features that to keeping the user logged in. Yes, you heard me right. Nowadays, all the applications are being developed or being built to meet the user's best experience. Let's take a scenario where the user of your apps has to uh, sign in each and every time they open up your app. At that moment, your users might get irritated. To avoid those, all the apps of these generations are keeping the users signed in once they log into your app or once they sign up at the first time until unless they log out from your app. That thing we will be covering in this video. If you are new to this channel and if you like my content and if it is helping you in any manner then please don't forget to click the like button, share and subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon near to the subscribe button. So let's get start what we can do and how to achieve the features to keep the user logged in to improve your apps better experience. So I have already you can see on my right hand side that I have already ran the app and it is running on my emulator. Let me just take you through the course what I have already done. This is the code from my last videos of phone number verification. This is the main.dart file I have already opened and I have I have a condition that here if snapshot dot has data then it is redirected to landing page. If it is not then it is it will go to sign in page. In this line 58, you can see Firebase Auth provides one method called Auth State Changes. With the help of Auth State Changes, we can know whether the user has already logged in or not. If it is not, if the user hasn't logged in for the first time or he, the user has not logged in till yet, then we will redirect to the sign in page. Let me take you to the sign in page what we have there. So in my last videos, I had created so many uh, methods to uh, sign up using different features of uh, Firebase like Google sign in, email and password and other like phone number verification. So this is for phone number verification. Let me uh, close this method and this is the with these lines of course here like we are getting a Google sign in object and we are calling the sign in method available inside the Google sign in object. This in turn returning a user object and we are checking whether that user is null or not based upon that we are redirecting to our landing page. But if you do this much the user will not be kept logged in because uh, there is a, another method needs to be called or another features uh, provided by Firebase auth packages that has to be called in order to keep the user logged in. Let me show you before implementing that one. Let me click on the sign in with Google option and we will choose the account from the pop up. I'm going with third option like mongoldas.lima and, and see our app logged into our app and it is directed to home page. Let me just go to the landing page and add some body over here. There is nothing. So I'll just add a text with the center widget. Welcome back to Lima Tech. The shortcut to format your course is press Alt, Shift and F. It will format your code into particular alignment. But keep in mind that in each sentence, in each word after you have to give a comma. Now the app is course formatted and now I just run that app. And you can see there, there we have a message called welcome back to Lima Tech. Let me just improve this size. And if you want to decorate your text wizard, then you can go and uh, type style text. And the constructor or the class is responsible for making style is 
textile is there this one and uh, just increase the size of the font to 18 and save it now you can see the uh, the size of the fonts are increased so this way we have logged in but uh, this is not actually keeping the user signed in to prove that i am going to close this app from my emulator and i will be opening that app from my emulator this is my app actually it's not visible clearly due to some android emulator issue this is the app now you can see when i reopen my app after closing the session it is asking me to log in again so this is the place where the user will get irritation or might not use the app for this to make the user experience we have to keep the user logged in once they are signing or once they are logged into our app let's see how to achieve that one in this line we are getting the user object with the help of google's sign in method what you need to do is if the user is not null then we will have to get the authentication object like uh, let me just go and show you uh, google auth you have to avoid this because uh, this will return a authentication object this authentication object will provide us a id token and access token which is which will be required to get the user credential i'll be showing you in a while like there is a google auth provider which will return us the credential if we provide access token and id token you can see here id token is there and access token is there that we can get it from user dot authentication and this user will have some value once we are login or once we are signing in with the google sign in object so with the help of credential method of google auth provider we can uh, get like id token and google auth id token and for access token we can get google auth access token this method is returning us a auth credential let me save the credential return from this method in a variable so that we can use that credential in our next method call that method is available in the firebase auth class let me go and write that one firebase auth dot instance dot sign in with credential this one so now i am passing the credential object which i had stored in this line 142 when we call this method firebase and this google sign in auth state changes will be registered and whenever this method are called like we have called this firebase auth dot instance dot auth state changes once that method is called while logging while logging or while signing up into the application that state will be available in this method or in this instance we can say and whenever the application is reopened and this method will have some value and i am checking that value in this line whether the value is true or false i mean if it is logged in already then it will be having a true value or or else a false so based upon that the page will be redirected so let me go here and format my code and save it let me rerun the application once again Now the app is reinstalled and our main page or our first page is the sign in page because this time the app or the user hasn't logged in at this time this method will be called i mean this block has been called and this value has some false value because there is no change in auth states that's why it redirected to our sign in page now let me go and sign in with google From the account i am choosing the third one now it logged in and redirected to the our landing page where we just few minutes back we have modified the text value or we have added the 
uh, value in our container so once i kill this app and reopen the app once again from my mobile or my emulator it should redirect me to the landing page instead of the sign in page let's see it's, you can see now it redirected to the home page instead of login page because this is happening because we have we have added these lines of course in our sign in google method and this is responsible for keeping your state of your auth i mean auth means your login value whether it is available or not whether the user has logged in or not from that value it will check this line will check whether user has logged in or not so based upon that it is redirecting because this value will have true even if you close this session as many times as you want and reopen your app it will redirect you to the home page instead of login page so you can see it redirected me to home page now go and log out from this app i have logged out now close this app again click on the app it should redirect me to the login page or sign in page see it has brought up the sign in page instead of redirecting to the home page so this is the way that we can keep the user signed in or keep the user logged into your app once they have signed in or signed up for the first time until unless they have logged out from your app if you have any doubts or if you have any queries related to these features then you can let me know in the comment section below and i'll try to help you out to fix your problems thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you like the content really then you can share this content with your friends and colleagues who are more interested in learning the flutter till then keep watching my channel for more videos that i'll be uploading soon